650 feet and just over a kilometer in 25 minutes, which isn't amazing, but started the season pretty unfit. But uh, yeah, thinking of doing a little couple of videos of the the season, the exploration of the season. Where are we gonna go? What are we gonna do? If you're a skit skier, snowboarder, I don't think I'm gonna impress too much. But by all means, have a little look, share, do as you please. Let's and he's uh, been missing here in uh, the Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming uh, since June 8th. Um, and we're appealing for people, anybody who's been here uh, on June 8th or a couple of days after, if they've seen him, if they'd look at his pictures, if they'd look at videos, he might be in the background. Uh, Kian is a um, very outgoing guy, loves the outdoors. He was living here for two years. He's, he had dual citizenship. And um, so he was working as a snowboard instructor in the winter and in the bars. And if you met Keen, he'd stop and have a chat. You know, he was um, loved by old friends. He had a lot of friends in Ireland and in the US as well. And um, yeah, he was living the life, you know, Keen was living the life. So um, his car uh, was obviously seen here. Um, on June 8th and um, the rangers, despite the rangers um, massive search, I think they've done over 5,000 hours and uh, we still have had no uh, look and finding anything. He was, um, he's six foot tall, he's tattoos, he's wearing white t-shirt shorts and with a bottle of water. So it was a day hike for sure. He was well versed in the mountains. He grew up hiking with me and my mum and dad and my brother he used to go to Chamonix and hike in the mountains so well versed with equipment gear so the day hike and um, that he was possibly went off trail and that time of year although it's June it's spring here so there was the, the weather was really really warm and the, the the melt off from the snow so all of the waterfalls were gushing there would have been melt underneath ice so it's tricky you know it really is a tricky time of year you're just unsure of what um, you know what the terrain is really when, when when the melt has been so so much at that time so again we're appealing to people to have a look through their um, pictures their videos if they saw Kean, there's a video of Kean we have on social media, hashtag find Kean, and also um, bring Kean home. So my my hope is to, um, yeah, it's not a rescue, it's a recovery, but I'd like to bring him home. You know, I know, I know he's up there somewhere. Oh, welcome to Still Speak Podcast. This is a, another story of a missing person. This time it's a man who is missing in Grand Teton National Park, which we've discussed Grand Teton heavily with the Gabby Petito case. And he's actually been missing since June. The man's name is Kean McLaughlin. He's 27 years old. He's six feet tall, 178 pounds, brown hair, and brown eyes. He's a Dublin, Ireland native. Kean McLaughlin was last seen on June 8th of 2021 around 2.30 p.m. hiking up about a half a mile from the Lupine Meadows Trailhead in the Grand Teton National Park. The last ping of his cell phone was at about 3.30 p.m. on June 8th. He was last seen wearing shorts, a white top, a bucket hat, hiking boots, sunglasses, which will be in one of the pictures, and carrying a water bottle. Kean does have an Irish accent. Since Kean was reported missing, the National Parks Investigation Team has spoken with more than 140 people who had tips and information, and over the 45 search and rescue missions have been launched by helicopter search teams, including with thermal imaging and dog teams. These teams have required ropes 
and ice axes and crampons and other protective equipment to access and navigate steep terrain in hazardous areas. Grand Teton National Park chief said the search for Kian will not end until he is found. Quote, tactics shift over time and we're coming towards winter and we expect the snow to fall on the ground, which will make some of the clues that we're looking for a little bit more difficult to find. Unquote. She also said, quote, there are items that we believe that he had with him, and those are things that we might see out in the landscape. We continue to really work with the public soliciting for information. We have missing person flyers throughout the park and entrance stations and trailheads, and our staff are always patrolling the field both in the summer and in the winter, unquote. In this video, I'm going to include two different videos. One is a, I guess you would call it a digital flyer that's being passed around, which includes an actual uh, video footage of Kean. I'm not sure from when, um, but he, he appears to be talking to the camera, so you get a really good look of what he looks like. And another is of his mother. When her video is what prompted me to want to do this. Because at the very, very end of the interview, and you'll see why, you can see how much pain this woman is in to find her son and how much she loves him. Which, thank you to RTE News, who actually recorded her and got this video of her spreading around social media. Anyone with information or tips can email bring can home which is bring c i a n home at gmail.com and you can also call or text 188-653-0009 or email n p s underscore i s b at n p s dot gov which obviously n p s stands for National Park Services. His mom, who you will see and hear in her video, also has said, quote, I went through a huge amount of grief at that time. We arrived on June 17th, and pretty much two days later, we were told that this was a recovery operation. That was really hard, unquote when she was recalling when this all began. And Kian's uncle said, quote, knowing Kian as being very sociable and chatty, he definitely would have talked to people. And so someone may remember seeing him on the trail, unquote. And the family's appeal is basically to do for him what everybody did for Gabby Petito, and that is to, if you were in the Grand Teton area around June 8th, before or after, to check your photos, check your videos. You never know. You may see him in the background. It might be a clue to help them in somewhat locating him. One of the first things I said when Gabby Petito's uh, story began was check your photos and check your videos. That was before even the FBI was saying it because I just felt that was a common sense thing to do. These parks are visited by a lot of people and you just never know what you may capture on a photo or you know video footage. In Gabby's case... You know, once the law enforcement agencies were asking people to do that, everybody was really digging into their photos and video footage. And that's when the vloggers found the van in the Spread Creek area, which we now know Gabby was not far from that location, which was an absolute miracle. So, you will hear Kian's mother say, that this is a recovery mission. She's kind of accepted the fact that he's most likely not okay. Uh, and the family just wants some closure, if that's the case. Kian is just as important as Gabby Petito. 
So please share. I mean, you can make the decision to ignore or you can share. It doesn't hurt to share. Let's try to help this mom out. This is her son and she needs help. It sounds like Kian was a really sociable, outgoing guy. His mother talks about how he was in, an instructor in the winter and worked the bars during like the summer months. Um, they are using hashtag bring Kian home and hashtag find Kian. And Kian is spelled C-I-A-N. Thanks so much.